Right, I'm going to take the glasses yeah. off of this bit. Let's have it right. Okay. We are not boxers. Mm -hmm. It's not a points thing, bro. Mm. I'm coming in there to, to destroy you. you, bro. Yeah. You're coming in there to survive somehow, bro. There's levels to this G. Yes, yes, what's good, people? Welcome back to another episode of The Block Report, hosted by your boy, your man, your king, Flashy Silla. Now, you already know what I want. I bring special guests onto here. I don't bring no meaty man. And this time round, it's a bit different. I'm not even bringing a musical artist and whatnot. You might have spat a couple bars in the past, but I got my bro, Lippy Lickshot. My family. Yes, man. Alright, so this is the Bench Talk episode with my brother Lippy, man. Assalamu alaikum, my bro. Alaikum salam, my bro. Yes, Excuse yes. I'm good, yeah. I'm good, man. I'm good. You know what? Yeah, obviously, you're a Muslim brother, innit? Yeah, I am, man. I'm but really we'll, we'll, we'll get into that, though. But mm. first of all, I just want to start off with, obviously, your progression and whatnot. I'll yeah. get, we'll get into the fight real soon. Yeah. We'll get into the fight, but I don't want to make that the main thing. So, yeah. obviously, let's start from the jump, man. So, I feel like with you, Mm. When you came on to like the scene and whatnot, you was telling your stories on Twitter. Yeah. I feel like you made it cool, yeah, for a man like, let's say for example, me, Billy and whatnot, mm. to like mm. speak unfiltered and raw on camera, like for like the new school kind of content creators, yeah. you know what I mean? Obviously, big shout outs to Poet. I feel like he's yeah, the GOAT yeah, content yeah. creator. Like, like comes that. to content, GOAT, like, he's yeah, been there since yeah. Channel U. But yeah, obviously like, you've made it like a thing, like, do you know what I mean? And I feel mm. like you're kind of the blueprint, so, how do you? How have you adapted to it? Like, was it just you being you? Just me. Oh, it's just me being me. Innit? Cause man followed it from the jump. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say it's just me being me in a sense where it's yeah. like I've kind of always been like that. You feel me? Even yeah. when man was kind of doing whatever we was doing. Yeah. I was still like the voice of reason a lot of times, innit? Even mm. when certain things was done, innit? I was still playing devil's advocate. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about this and what? You get me, car? There's a lot of men like me, I think. You That's what me? I'm saying. I feel like you've helped. You've helped yeah, a lot of men yeah, cut through. Yeah. There's, there's a lot yeah, of men yeah, like me. Yeah. It's just at that time, yeah. obviously on social media, this whole like everybody chatting about what mm. they was doing and that is quite new. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So at that time, it was quite fresh to people yeah. and people took to man. And at first, I kind of, I didn't really realise. You get yeah, me? Yeah. Obviously, there's certain people. Shout out to my dog Lordy. Yeah. And, Hi, and, and yeah. Uncle Payne and that. Yeah, shout out yeah, Lordy, yeah, yeah, Lordy, yeah, yeah. Lordy, <laughs> the guy that made my YouTube channel and that okay. YouTube channel is the, the For The Culture channel now. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not an idiot thing, he, 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 because I didn't know what I was doing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? He just, he, he, he literally DM'd me. I, I wasn't even following him. I wasn't mm. even following him at the time. Well, do you think you was like, when you first like blew up on the scene, mm. do you think you was super new to socials? Or was I it a thing where I you were still on, about? I'd, 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 um, but you're a MySpace man though, isn't it? Like, yeah, that's your era. That's what I'm saying. I've, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been through the social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this was, even for Twitter, like, yeah. I've been on Twitter like a couple years, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the whole kind of social media, I think that's why it was kind of easier for men to manoeuvre than certain yeah. men. Like, when certain men kind of got there and blew up. They didn't get their practice already. There you go. They yeah, weren't yeah, used yeah, to yeah, social yeah. media. Whereas with men, I'd already got the knack of how to share things and get things mm. out there and where nothing was But you know some man time. like, obviously some man in the hood, they're fresh when they're nah, comes 100%, to that. Bro, man, like, man, they're off the boat when it comes to that. Man, man you know I mean? been in jail for a long yeah, time, yeah, so they yeah. miss certain periods and all these things, you understand? Yeah, yeah. If you grow up in a certain area, mm. you're more prone to go through certain things, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the decisions you make in regards to these things happening to you, yeah. they shape like the rest of your like Your youth. life. Man used to kick ball, yeah. whatever. Then you get to the age where I wanted to be a footballer, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're going to be a footballer <laughs> by the time you're like 15, 16. Yeah. So by the time I'm 15, Man's 16. Man's going to college football. But yeah. I know it's, it's yeah. long, innit? So I'm not saying, right, I jump straight into the road. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just me and my collective of, of brethren, mm. first we were sitting in the park, yeah. kicking ball. Then it turned into sitting in the park, smoking mm. weed. Mm. Then it turned into sitting in the park. I'm not saying sitting right, in the park and bucking you. There you go. Then so it came like, into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, yeah, yeah. It, things just happen like. Yeah. From from man, 
thought certain opportunities weren't there or whatever, certain mm. options was closed. Yeah. Man kind of just went into carefree mode and mm. that's how a lot of youths end up in this thing. It's not that, raw, they wake up one day and they be like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to choose to be a member. Yeah. No, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. So you say man sitting here on this bench right now, 15 yeah. years old, three other 15 year olds come mm. round here right now, rob us or something because yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not them kind of youths. Yeah. And then we see them next week, we're 10 man up and there's yeah. only two of them. And then you're rushing them. Man's gonna kick yeah, the head yeah, 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 and, that's, yeah, yeah. and that's how it starts, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's get into you. You revert. You revert to Islam. I did. Um, how long ago was this? Uh, when I originally reverted, yeah. I was yeah. seventeen. Yeah. Shahada, everything. Shahada, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But just like scatty, bro. Like, when I say <laughs> scatty, it's like. What made you revert at 17? Bro, should I tell you the truth, yeah. bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 17, I know it sounds mad, I felt old, bro. Yeah. Like, all my brethren are going gel. Uh. Like, man, are getting, it's like all the little altercations we're getting into and that. Like, man, are getting hurt, bro. And it's getting like, tired. Even, I know it sounds mad, yeah. Mm. Like, even the enemies or whatever man mm. used to call them back then, pagans, mm. ops, as they call them today. Brother, when I'm seeing, like, because again, man grew, man grew with a lot mm. of men. All, everyone I had a problem mm. with, I grew up with them, innit? Yeah. Or it was, you get me? It was especially a in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah, yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Everyone I had a mad team with, I grew up with. Mm. So it's a thing where, I'm bad, I've got a big heart, man. I'm a good person. Mm. So it's a thing where a lot of this stuff was on my conscience. I was just yeah. thinking, rah, man. And it's like. So at 17, you, you, you had a maturity of a 25 year old, like, because of everything that the man did me from. Do you know what it is, man? I was just, yeah. uh, uh, a couple things had happened and it weren't really to particularly people that I was directly associated with, but just mm -hmm. people like, around that, you know how mm. Word of mouth. the stories yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Like, I just started thinking a lot about death, bro. I'm yeah. not even going to lie, that was, I think that was the main thing. So what made you think, like, you didn't want to die a non-Muslim? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Yeah. I have no idea. Well, you thought that, that was just, the change? Gee, I yeah. don't know, man. Like, when I was, when I was, it's like I was so happy that I'd done it, innit? Because yeah. I'd done it, and then flipping, I don't even know if it was a year later, but yeah. it's when, this is when I was 18. Yeah. One of my friends just passed away because mm. he was ill. Mm. And I don't even know he was ill. Mm. Like people closer to him did, but man, man mm. didn't know that. And it just happened. Yeah. And, and I was kind of thinking, raw, like, on a, this is kind of like a full circle moment. This is kind of why I've done it, yeah. kind of thing. I've always been like a spiritual person, man's always believed yeah, yeah. in things and like questions. Really and God and what yeah, not. no, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, regardless of anything, I've always had. That like faith. You never tapped into the to the rafter thing though. Bro, I told you straight. <laughs> you know what I mean, I, I, before man was done the shit. I thought you was rafter, you know. Nah, you know what it is. My dad, my dad, my dad's got locks and that. Like I okay. said, my dad's from Ghana. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, dad's yeah. from Ghana, so he's not got. Nothing and I feel like the, the Caribbean Ghana one. relation is close. Oh, close. And like yeah, I said, yeah. my mum's Jamaican and Trini. Yeah. Is, you understand? But you oh, know, Salam, you're quarter Trini. Yeah, man, I'm quarter Trini. <laughs> Salam. Yeah, man, you're cool. I ain't cool, man. I ain't cool. I'm the black Trinis, bro. Oh, what, you say you're your Bantu Trini? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a Bantu boy. Now, I'll tell you the truth. Man. Imagine my yeah. nan, she's Trini, but her dad is from Barbados and her yeah. mum's from a place called Venezuela. But she's Venezuela, just okay. born in Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I... Basic yeah, yeah, yeah. actually too weird to represent Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, can't, can't, you can't rep that. Shout out to man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Let's get into the Ross Clark fight on the 21st, man. Mm -hmm. So, are you guys the main card, yeah? Nah, we're the co imagine we're the co-main card. Bounce, are you done, man? Oh, how are you on the co-main yeah. card? Nah, you know what it is? I think it's card, <laughs> they're, they're heavyweights, innit? Okay. They're heavyweights. Like, so, speaking on that too, yeah, mm -hmm. word on road now mm -hmm. is that you picked an easy opponent. Ah. And you know I can't it? lie, no, no, Lippy, bro. You know, I'm, I'll be honest with you. The yeah. receipts are there, bro. You, are there. He's Marga, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's Marga. He is. He's and how, how much are you? Right now? Yeah. Do you know what it is, bro? Yeah. I think, I'm not going to lie. I, I could be fight weight right now, bro. No, but how much do you weight right now? It's about, I'll, I'll be saying I'm about 74 right now. Fight weight right, is cool. 72. I'm 70, I'm 70, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm 71 on a good day. I reckon mm -hmm. I'll have you, you know? I don't think so, man. No, 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 I reckon... I'm, I reckon I'm, I'll have... I'm decent at boxing, you know, bro. No, no, I'm, I've, I'm, I've seen you I'm talk a lot on Gee, yeah. it's as simple as this, yeah? Even I'm PK back to... Hey, PK, I see no you didn't want to lift me up the Say no more, say no more. This is, this is the first... This I'm going to answer your first question. No, all right, let me, let me finish, uh -huh. yeah? I, I'm, I will actually come to your boxing gym mm -hmm. and we can spot. Come. 
and I'll, I'll get a kill to come and record it. Come. Live on Mixtape Madness Instagram, bro. Come. Like, man, we'll do that. Bro, bro. we could do that tomorrow. Because you know what it is, bro? I'm, I'm Gambian, innit? Yeah, and we, we, we've never used weapons, bro. It's always hands. Like, oh. Aye, bro. Have I you boxed hands. before? Nah. Yeah, I'm a street it's, fighter. It's long. I'm a street long. fighter. It's long. Come, come and box me. All right, cool. cool. Come, yeah. We're but I'm a street it. fighter, though. That's the thing. Bro, on a wild always so tased. So is Taze. Alright, cool. Boxer, so with bro. Taze, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Why don't roll so here like so Yeah, yeah. He's, he's manga, bro. Alright, so that's yeah, yeah, cool, isn't it? But this is what it is. And the receipts are there. Go on Taze's Instagram right now. Mm. On his post, he says, "Raw." I said to Bouncer, no, Bouncer offered him a thing, and he blurred out his name. I'll say mm. his name. I don't know why he won't say his <laughs> name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said Bouncer offered him S one. Mm. Yeah, from Bush. Yeah. But I think. But the, the reason that Tay said he didn't want to box him is because he said he's too small, yeah? yeah. I don't think that the, that's the real reason. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Tay is being picky. sensible. Not even picky, sensible. That's okay, real okay, street okay, politics, okay, okay, you get okay, me? Okay. S1 comes from a yeah, set of yeah, men yeah, yeah, that don't yeah. get on with him. Yeah, that's yeah. stupid. Like, like, imagine now they're bucking the arena now. It's long, bro. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think he kind of just, yeah. he's saying that he's small reason to kind of rub that's, him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, I think Tay is being mature and you understand? So he said to mm. Bouncer, mm. I need someone big. Yeah. So obviously I'm meant to be fighting World Boss at the time. Oh, so yeah, that that's what's happened, bro. You don't I understand. can't lie, that, that should World be the fight, bro. Was, World Boss was warning, but something, something <laughs> happened with him and he yeah. had to sort it out. Okay. So now. That would have been a good fight. So bro. now obviously Bouncer's got two fighters that want to fight. So he's put to Taze first. Do you want to fight Lippy? And obviously Taze has said, yeah, he's mm. not going to back down. So, Bouncer's come to man basically saying, Taze is calling you out. Not, do you want to fight Taze? He's saying, Taze wants to fight you. He's saying, yeah, I'll so, fight Lippy. It's not no. Don't get it twisted, not on a rubber thing. <laughs> no, on saying, a rubber thing. It's G, it's not a rubber. <laughs> I'm going to let my hands do the talk. I don't okay, do that. Because, okay. G, you know, I'm not rubbing him out on yeah. the physicals. Because, brother, I'm not. Are you playing a metal game right now? Bro. Because you, your press run, yeah, you mm -hmm. said, like, uh, heat a whole no, lot. Bro, of do you know stuff, what it is? Bro. I've said stuff about him, but. I'm gonna talk less about how he's small in that car. It's that's okay. dead, bro. You get me? That's, like, that's easy. That's yeah, easy. man. That's that's okay. and it's but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Differently, same way I just said. Oh, I come to the. I lied. You know, I'm not a boxer, bro. So fair enough. Oh, you're not. Look, so what? Gee, it's as simple as this, innit? But you've been boxing for about a year, just about a year, innit? Like you be sparring. I've been seeing it on socials. You said yeah, like man's in the I gym. First went in, I yeah. first. The first time I ever ever went boxing, I was in year ten. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that. No, I haven't been boxing since year ten. But there was okay. a boxing gym in my area. I, I, I heard that a couple youths went there that I didn't think was tough. Mm. So I went there because I you, thought I was you, tough. Yeah, and you wanted to box him. And I didn't get humbled or anything, but I just saw <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> at yeah, at yeah. the time, I was 15. Yeah. So shit like fitness is not an option. 15. Yeah. I'm, I'd go to boxing, then go football after, yeah, yeah, then go yeah, play yeah, football yeah. with my friends in the cage and then mm. do the fitness. Like you're, you're running around yeah, all the time. Yeah, but just the whole technical thing. So I didn't do it for a while. Then when I was about 21, I started working in a gym and I got, I got biggish. Mm. And there was, a, there was a heavy bag there, so I just used to punch it up. Yeah. And a youth, there was a brayer there and he kind of told me like, you're doing it wrong. So he used to show a man bits and bobs. Raw, so I can't lie, yeah. Mm. If, if we were to spar, you, you might... Yeah, so... Like, like, yeah, that's, a, that's a man, bro. Man's not going to say you will have me, you know? Nah, but, but gee, it might you know be hard, it? Do <laughs> you know what it is, though? You see? It's a little thing, thing isn't it? It's as simple as this. If you're yeah. saying you're a true street fighter, yeah, yeah, Taze yeah. is claiming he is as well, we're going to see. Yeah. But like me, I believe I'm a street fighter as well. I think if you can fight, yeah... Because I've always... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Put it this way. This is my thing. The dynamics of fighting for me yeah, is to be able to give and take in it. Yeah. You need to be able to attack. And not even defend, but part of fighting is getting hurt in it. So you mm. need to be tough in it. Mm. You understand? So I think if you go into boxing with them two things, I'm not saying you're gonna be it's yeah. gonna be easy, but you understand. So like, I've like taken, you, you need to be able to take just as much as yeah, but I've seen man. I've, I've taken certain man boxing when back back then we was in year ten. I remember we took yeah. my brother, we took him once ever. Yeah, and he's small in it. Mm. Well, he was small at the time. He's still small, but he's he small at the time. So. Because we was young, they used to make us spar at the end of every session. Yeah. It's on an excitement thing. Mm. No head guards, nothing. Mm. Mismatch. Bare, bare fist? Nah, nah. Yeah. With, with gloves and that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. controlled, like. Some of them lasted like 30 seconds if it was mm. too much. So they put my brethren in there with some young youth. But my brethren's small. But they're telling him, brother, this youth's good. Don't mm. think it's an idiot thing. Brother, my brethren 
ended up getting patterned by the youth. But the reason he's ended up getting patterned is because he's angry. Yeah. He's trying to throw big bombs and yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the angry thing is you you've lost already, it, bro. You've lost and already. I think yeah. that's how I'm gonna win. Yeah. Hear this, like you see me. I come with the I come with the facts. So obviously we've done the press conference the other day, and I saw that. Yeah. Obviously the press conference is in the same room that the punching machines in, and. You lot haven't seen it because people have been staring out the comments, but I've heard mm. it in my ears and mm. on my phone screen that the punching machine's rigged. They said they don't oh, think I swear that down. my score was real. So what was your score? I punched 944. That's that's hard. That's that's, hard. that's a hard punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after our interview now, mm. Taser's pressed the ting. Ding, the ting's come down. So I'm mm. thinking, right, you're gonna show me something. And he's just done the mind game thing quickly. Yeah, Lippy, hit it. I don't believe that you done it. Hit it. I'm saying, brother, me. You know what I done to a man yesterday? <laughs> I said, cool, innit? Yeah. Ping! 9.55. I said, so what are you saying? What are you saying? I said, hit it, Taze. Hit it. Hear him. My coach. Six goals. Hear him. My, oh, did, oh. <laughs> my coach told me not to hit it. Power's not part of my game plan. <laughs> so what are you going to do, bro? You're not going to yeah, do it. Bro. Let's have it right. I'm going to take the glasses yeah. off of this bit. Let's have it right. OK. We are not boxers. Mm -hmm. It's not a points thing, bro. Mm. I'm coming in there to, to destroy you, bro. Yeah. You're coming in there to survive somehow, bro. There's levels to this, G. All right, cool. So I got a bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. And you just answer them on a quick fire thing, innit? Yeah. So, all right. Lippy's living room or hype reacts? <laughs> You know what? On a history thing, I gotta say living room. Come on. Cause of, cause of, cause of what's happened. Yeah. That there wouldn't be hat reacts if there wasn't. Living That's room. an easy answer though, isn't it? Nah, but it's it's <laughs> flat. G, you don't understand. What bro. content do you prefer though? But it's. Do you know? Shall I shall tell you the truth, bro. Yeah. Oh. Shall I tell you the truth. Shall I tell you my secret. Shall I tell you why hat reacts is so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And they won't mind me saying this. Is it recency bias though? It's not recency bias. It's just bro. It's like I feel like mm. it's. The living room again, but I've got more creative control. You get me, bro? Oh, you peak UK draw uh -huh. or peak gram? Peak gram. Yeah, I asked Tef the same peak question. Gram. You lot are that generation, though, innit? Peak gram. But if man was to say. Yeah, would you say you're a gram kid? I was, innit? Yeah. Because peak gram was. Because, like peak I said. Drill, no, I hear you, but again, <laughs> peak gram never yeah. had the tools to reach the places it reached. It you know, had I'm no not hearing right. that, you know. Bro, you don't understand. G, you don't understand, yeah? You see your yeah. phone right now. Yeah. Man's phone, the only way I could get, I would run oh. ghetto you going yeah, up yeah, in the dark. Yeah, yeah. Dial up internet when yeah, everyone yeah. had broadband AOL. and all of this. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. man had broadband, <laughs> I was dial up in. You get me, bro? Man had, so you see yeah, all yeah, this yeah. MP3, nah, yeah. brother. The only way I could get tune off my bridging was yeah. Bluetooth or infrared. Uh. It's the only way, bro. <laughs> so for your tune to matter, for me to bug you all day at school, yeah. send me that. Send it me must that. be To hard. the extent where a man's airing you. Yeah, send yeah. me that. Yeah, yeah, later, later. Yeah. You know that he's, you're not, then he's just going to play it on the bus. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, ain't got this drill yeah, that yeah, yeah. didn't have that. Drill, yeah. I know it's, I'm not saying that's what makes it better, but that's what made it more special. If a drill yeah. tune now, I remember, G, till this I feel like it's, it's like, you know how we got NFTs? That's how it was. Bro, yeah, bro. You it's know like getting an MP3 was like day, NFT. bro, there's grime dubs I've never had. Yeah. I still go on YouTube to, to this day trying to find some kind of, who's the hidden uh, DJ or what set was the, uh, bro, this. It's one of them ones, YouTube videos that were 13 years ago. It's got 53 views, bro, 53 views, bro. And bro, you're like, bro, I've been looking for this my whole life. See MySpace. <laughs> yeah. Thing with MySpace. Was, MySpace was a music, a social media app too, innit? Basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a thing where, only certain tunes were available for download okay. on MySpace. Yeah. You get me? And remember, man did not have iPhones and that. So mm. if you wanted to listen to that tune, mm. you had to go home to your yard, turn on the computer, mm. load up the something. Mm. That, this is yeah. about 90 minutes of your <laughs> life right now, you like, Find the one tune amongst the 7 million tunes yeah, that yeah. you've got as well and yeah. play it. And play it. And then sometimes you'll go there, oh, it's off MySpace, it's gone forever. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> it's just Brother, lost. Do you know what I do now with my little status? Uh. I've troubled these grime MCs that I grew up on. Saying, yeah. yeah, we got that tune that goes like, <laughs> and I have to like hum it to them or something. Nines or scraps? I have to say scraps. Skeptical gigs. So for obviously our, our um, export, our greatest export, who would you say is skeptical gigs? I'm not gonna lie. Mm. 
I don't have an answer yet. I'm going to talk my way into an answer. But before I talk <laughs> yeah. my way into the answer, I want to say I think that's our... That's the golden two, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, our, that's like, our... That's our, like... The ghosts, as you would say, like, are ghosts. Like a Dr. Dre and Jay-Z or something, uh, I don't know. Like, that's our one. Or Nas and Jay-Z. Yeah, or, yeah that's yeah, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. like... I've got to say gigs. When the first time I heard gigs, I tell you, this is, uh, this is a story. This is one for the history books, man. Yeah. Yeah, no one's going to know about this one. I was in year 11, mm. so I was either 15 or 16. I've gone on to Wiley's MySpace page, <laughs> yeah? yeah? To, I don't even know why. <laughs> I've got, and he had no music on his page. The mm. only two tunes he had on his page mm. was Gigs Talking the Hardest and Gigs and Dubs Pain is the Essence. Okay. So I thought, what the hell is this? Yeah. Brother, I clicked on it and my eyebrows was just like this for the rest of the away. day. Like, I'm, this is yeah. this is almost like peak grime, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm in year 11, bro. This like, is 07, 08. Yeah. Like, this is rap. Yeah. Like, I remember PDC and that. Man just thought, bro, them man, they're scary. Uh. And they're almost too scary to listen to at this point. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm yeah. 14, 15. Yeah. Man don't know about all them kind of things. So in that area, yeah, when man are rapping, because I've heard it a lot, when man are rapping, is it... Is it like raw? You're doing rap when when we're spitting at 140. That's right? exactly what it was, bro. So it was just like, foreign. It was nah, just bro, foreign. It was just if you was rapping, you was just some kind of super duper gunman. Oh, okay. Doing the mad gunman thing. All right, so that's the bench talk episode of my bro Lippy Dunn, man. Thank Come you for on, coming man. down, always. Now you lot already know what one. I bring two guests on every single month. And I only bring special guests, you know what I mean? I don't bring no meaty man. So make sure you guys watch out for the next episode of The Block Report. You get me? This is a special one, man. A man that's charted, you get me? But I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.